Okay, hi again. I'm running behind, so I'm not changing my clothes. Um, but I brought little things for your viewing pleasure. Um, Bulbasaur and Leafeon mimic you. Okay, days. Come on, let's go. Okay. So there you go. <laughs> okay, anyway, I have one more book box to open, so bear with me. I should have said book mail, but this is as far as I got so far. So, um, I'm, I can't rip it anymore. I'm going to cut it. Okay, almost done cutting it. You can see the disaster. That is me. There. Okay. So, fun part about going to conferences is you get so many book recommendations. So, this is what these are. Um, mm, in the dream house. I was talking to an independent editor and she was saying how very um, triggering this is, but how it is written in such a different way, structurally with different um, tactics used of the um, English language in a dream house by Carmen Marie Machado. I will flip this back. I am behind the times apparently. Everyone knew what Gone Girl was. Um, I have not seen the movie either. So obviously like obviously now I know what happened slightly because they told me spoilers, but the, by the time I get to it in my lovely giant this is only half or one third of my reading stack, then I'll probably forget what has happened. And then in one of the um meetings, this teacher um that I loved, she recommended Patricia A. McKillop for fantasy read, so we'll see if it has stuck up with its times, I guess you could say. But we'll see how this is. Let's flip the camera around. So we go in the dream house. It looks very interesting. Gone Girl. I'm sorry if you all <laughs> know what this is, and I definitely do not. And then... Ooh, very pretty surprise so it's like it's like a whole picture okay have a wonderful day